What is up everyone, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another episode of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. My name is Miles Rowe and in today's video guys we'll be revisiting a weapon that has been on the top charts uh, in the past seasons and a weapon that I have to say people had kind of forgot about it uh, in the light of all the uh, you know incendiary rounds and the crossbow uh, and of course the uh, latest news of the BO6 but a weapon that I thought to give a go uh, again today uh, and see how uh, how it holds itself uh, simply because I think uh, we uh, are now able to uh, add a, um, another attachment that uh, before we didn't necessarily have the access to uh, which is an aftermarket part or at least uh, an aftermarket part that I've never thought to play with so with that being said let's just have a look at how these things uh, play together uh, I'm quite excited about uh, about this to be honest it is a weapon that I've, uh, I've always been a fan of so looking forward to see how uh, how this actually uh, handled itself so as per um, I guess the normal now we're just gonna go straight into the tier 3 area try to get ourselves um, a legendary um, uh, eater tool and a pack a punch level 3 crystal and then take the game from there let's also just get ourselves a dead shot daggery this always helps uh, and because we've got pack a punch level 2 done with an epic rarity tool it's always good to have the dead shot daggery uh, equipped as well just to make sure that we've got that uh, extra layer of um, um, of assistance Okay, that's it. Let's go and see how this actually does. We also go on out the siege with us, so straight after uh, playing around the tier three area, uh, we'll be heading over um, to the uh, um, uh, Elder Dark Kiefer. I also have a tombstone from a previous game, so we'll probably go and collect that as well. Do a few missions in the tier three area. Aim to also do the uh, Warlord on the map, um, and then um, uh, move over to. Uh, the uh, Dark Keeper. Okay, so uh, I mean, pretty good going. We also have the Mags of Holding, which uh, I'm gonna add um, uh, after we picked up our Tombstone. Um, but it's, I mean, I have to say it's doing pretty well. Of course, the Dead Shot Aggro really helps. Uh, but even at uh, Pack a Punch level 2, uh, with an epic rarity tool this weapon handles really well uh, the uh, the zombies in the tier 3 area so yeah if you guys are you know wondering uh, uh, what to start with um, in this area definitely recommend giving it this a go of course we also had the uh, recent nerf on the crossbow so you know I, i'm sure that everyone is probably wondering or testing loads of other weapons now just to see what kind of works best and what we could uh, what we could play with okay so let's get this bounty from here Okay, I know I have missed that uh, bit of essence there, so please don't judge me. I'm just gonna uh, see how uh, um, how the weapon does uh, against the disciple. So I'm gonna ignore all the other things, given that we also have the tombstone. Um, you know, I've got quite a few goodies there, so I don't really need to get uh, anything else. Yeah, so I just hate disciples, they uh, disappear off the map. Okay, so I think we're probably gonna have to pack a punch to level 3 uh, just to uh, deal with a bit more damage. Um, I'm not saying that it doesn't make a difference, but it would probably make uh, more of a difference. Um, yeah, there we go, with the pack a punch level 3. So it's going pretty well guys I have to say I'm, I'm yeah I'm 
I'm pretty surprised because I, I don't know why I stopped playing with the uh, RAM 9. I think it was the, the whole hype with uh, the Renetti conversion kit on the pistol, which, you know, don't get me wrong, is still a really strong uh, and powerful weapon. But I do think the RAM 9 get, uh, go at the time um, uh, a slight uh, nerf. Um, but it does seem that it's, it's back, guys, and I think it's definitely um, the SMG that uh, we all remembered. Okay, so run out of bullets there, which is a shame. We've got a few goodies, so let's take that self revive as well. Nice. We got the napalm ammo mode. Okay, oh, there we go, another uh, bounty mission, so let's go and do this quick. Okay, let's also get some of the other perks. Nice, and also let's replenish our ammo. We're still in the area, so we might as well. Also, keep forgetting how mobile this weapon is. Uh, it's absolutely amazing, and I think it's it's just one of those um, those weapons that it's such a good all rounder for everything that you're uh, supposed to do in the game. Um, that you know, I'm just super excited that it's kind of back, and it's kind of something that uh, we could uh, uh, again play with and enjoy, and you know, make the most of it. I mean, it's, it, it just feels like really, um, uh, really steady. Obviously, the fire rate is amazing. The mobility is amazing. Um, and, I'm, you know, I'm just curious to see how it does uh, um, uh, later on against the Warlord uh, and the Elder as well. Okay, so it's definitely uh, giving some damage to, uh, to the bounty. Of course, the dead shot aggro always helps, so... You know, if you guys do play with this, make sure you pair uh, the weapon with the dead shot. But yeah, there we have it. I mean, it's super straightforward, and it's definitely uh, one of those weapons that it's uh, it's keeping uh, and holding itself really well. Let's get rid of this side part though. It literally just clears everything around it, which is absolutely amazing. Okay, let's head off and let's see um, what we could do next. Okay, so there's no warlord there. So we most likely have Keras, yep, there we go, but we do need to find a stronghold, so let's see if we um, can get a shop um, after we picked up our tombstone, uh, get into a stronghold and then uh, uh, get into the uh, warlord's mansion. Right. In the same time, guys, in the meantime, I just wanted to uh, take the uh, time and, you know, thank you all again for all the lovely input that you had had with the channel and all the engagement. It really means a lot and I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of what we're building here. Even though sometimes I'm missing certain things, I'm just really, really happy you guys are always bringing them up. Um, it's definitely one of those uh, uh, particular... Um, uh, nice elements of having a, a really strong community so again i can't thank you guys enough you've been absolutely amazing and it really helps to uh, you know see uh, your positive uh, feedbacks and comments in the in the sections um and you know just a massive massive uh, thank you for uh sailor uh, he has uh, given me a, a bit of a nudge on how to use the scorcher uh sailor if you're watching i haven't 
really had time to uh, kind of give this a go. Um, I'm really conscious that I should, so please bear with me. I'm sure that in the next few videos we will be uh, seeing an improvement. So thanks so much again for um, um, you know for 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 the lovely feedback. Um, it's definitely something that I'm gonna look into doing. Okay, so let's head over to the stronghold now. Okay, so we've got a shop there, which is great. We should be able to get our stronghold key card and then also head over to um, the stronghold, which is not too far from where we were. So I keep checking to see if there's people going to the um, to the warlord. It did happen in the past where you know you kind of go through all the trouble to fight the stronghold, wait for um, uh, the safe to open, and then <laughs> you realize that the uh, stronghold has um, uh, uh, has disappeared. So yeah, just conscious of that. So. Nearly got uh, killed over there, but we should be fine. I'm not sure if it ever happened to you guys, but when you're so confident with the weapon you're playing, it just feels like you're uh, you're almost invincible, um, which is a really really funny uh, um, funny um, uh, effect that the weapon has. Um, so I'm not sure if you, uh, if you guys have uh, ever experienced this, but this is how I feel now with this Ram 9. It's an absolutely amazing weapon and I'm, I'm just glad um, we can play with it again and enjoy it as much as we did in the first time. Oh, there's some guys there. Okay, let's, um, let's quickly get the key card and let's head over. Even though we um, get a key card, I'm sure that they probably have opened it. Um, and because we're going to the Scorcher case, we uh, probably didn't really need to get a key card, but in case. Okay, so my first attempt to do the uh, broom picking. Hopefully, um, we'll uh, be ab able to get this. Uh, uh, nailed soon or getting better at it. So nearly there. It doesn't seem like the uh, guys have finished it. Okay, let's go and find Keras. This is the guy over here. Let's go. Uh, let's try to go downstairs. Just love how uh, people come here with. Uh, the dogs and the dog basically just clear, clears everything out. I have to say this is also my strategy when I um, come for the Warlord. So it's best to have a dog with you. Um, it just kind of, uh, you know, acts as a, a bit of a cushion and it's just uh, superly overpowered against, uh, against the mercenaries. Let's get rid of it right there. Okay. Oh, that's Keras. Let's see if we can get three of her.
They might be downstairs. Yep. Oh, there she is. And there we have it. I mean, um, yeah, those two guys were present here as well, but I mean, guys, the uh, Ram 9 is officially back. I think um, it is such a, a fantastic weapon, and because we've all played with it, I'm pretty sure that all of you guys have uh, have got this um, ooh, Scorcher case, very nice. Um, I'm pretty sure that all of you guys have this um, um, leveled up uh, uh, pretty much in, uh, in full. Um, so if you're planning to do give this a go, I'll put the uh, build of the weapon um, in, in the video as well. Right, left those guys some uh, legendary either tools. Um, I hope they will be enjoying this. So let's just carry on with our uh, small mission here. A few people coming. Nice. Okay, let's uh, see if we could do this. Maybe some people here. Let's invite them uh, to the squad. I think it's um, I think it's nice sometimes to you know let others to uh, join you. Even though if it's just for this one game, I'm probably gonna leave either myself or they're probably gonna leave themselves. Um, but at least it helps people to get some extra essence. Okay, so it does, um, I mean, it does really help to have a fantastic weapon, uh, especially in the PS3. And I think, you know, after we've been used with some really broken attachments and uh, weapons and um, other gimmicky things that have appeared in Season 4, um, having to kind of go back to like a classic uh, uh, weapon, it's, uh, it's, quite, it's quite reassuring and it's quite nice. Um, but you hope uh, they won't be changing anything to it because it's definitely going to keep, um, you know, the uh, user levels quite high. So I do hope um, you guys will be using it as well and if you haven't tried already, try it. I think it's amazing and if you have played with it in the past, you would straight away see what, what I meant by, uh, um, by uh, giving it uh, another go. Okay, so let's just leave... Uh, there, so excellent. The other guys left. So I think we should be actually um, looking to see if we could do another contract. If not, let's just go straight into the dark ether because I think um, we probably um, uh, would like to see how this does there. Um, I'm planning to do the uh, season um, um, season two reloaded dark ether. So we're probably gonna get a juggernaut with us. I'm not. Um, um, entirely sure how the weapon does against mega abominations yet um, especially the mission related ones so probably best to have a juggernaut with us just in case um, and uh, just get a few other goodies uh, that we could uh, make with us there okay so so far in the tier 3 area guys we just after the tiers anything in its way I especially want to pair this with the max of folding uh, legendary eater tool um, it's, it's an absolute machine so 
If you guys haven't tried, can't really stress enough uh, giving this a go. It just makes the entire game a lot more fun. Um, it's also one of those things, you, you want to be mobile, you want to be agile, if you don't have the Scorchy case with you, you want to be able to uh, quickly navigate the tier 3 area, and this weapon definitely allows you to do that. Okay, so we'll probably um, see you guys on the other side of the uh, Elder Dark Kiefer, um, and See how the weapon does there as well but in the meantime i will just drop the um, loadout on the screen so please make sure to take a print screen or screenshot or whatever you guys uh, feel comfortable with i always wanted to share the same sort of experience that i wanted it to be shared uh, by by streamers when uh, when i was watching this video so you know um, i hope you guys appreciate uh, the entire uh, build of uh, of the weapon on screen so see you guys on the other side in a sec and enjoy the build that I've prepared for you. Okay, so back off it. I think um, I really um, went for the season three reloaded Darky for too many times. I, I, I don't remember playing uh, uh, any other Darky for as much as that one. Um, so. It just feels a bit weird going back to this one and the season uh, season one reloaded, but as enjoyable because every time when we go back, it's uh, you know it's, it's just nice to kind of remember about uh, uh, the initial struggles we had. Uh, I remember when I went in the first um, season one reloaded arc, if uh, uh, I was absolutely daunting and uh, you know having to try to do the escort on yourself on your own, sorry. Uh, or the other missions was just uh, an absolute uh, as a nightmare so um, yeah having to look back at those particular moments is quite good um, and especially because we have seen um, uh, how much the game has improved um, at least in terms of how we've improved actually with the game um, it, it, it's just a, a nice touch to always remember where, where you all can start and stuff Okay, so even though it does deal some damage once you wait for the lasers to uh, come up um, I'll use the Juggernaut just in case um, and anyways we have uh, plenty of time to see uh, how uh, it, it does you know with the overall uh, um, usage of the weapon but there we go we've nearly done half um, of the Mega's health um, and I'm pretty sure that if we'd have been a bit more patient, we'd have done the entire uh, mission without the need, the need of the Juggernaut. But let's just uh, continue what we've, uh, what we've started. Okay, so that's that. Let's check out board. Give Bob some protection as well. Okay, so let's take the Sergio and the Sergio 5. Cool. Righty. On to the next one. Nice. So let's go straight there. Yeah, so as you guys can see, even in the Elder Dark Aether, uh, the, um, the weapon doesn't, doesn't miss a point. We'll probably take it in the new um, um, Elder 2, just to see how it does with all the kind of uh, other perks and the names that you can uh, you can get from the, from the missions. Um, I mean, so far, I'm, I'm really pleased. I, and I'm really happy that I've, I've kind of reconnected with this weapon, because um, I was actually obsessed with it. Uh, for, for an entire season, or just half, like maybe a, a good half, uh, half of a season. Um, so being able to play again with it is just a really, really nice uh, uh, 
nice reminder of you know the things that we uh, we usually have. But then again, as I said, in the light of all the stuff that we had recently with all the broken ammo modes, uh, the crossbow, um, and a few of the other stuff, I think it's it's just really um, very nice to have a, a normal looking weapon um, that you know it does uh, it does the job, um, and it also keeps the uh, the, the gameplay uh, um, you know the relatable and enjoyable. Okay, so we're done. Let's get the sigil, and then let's head over to the last contract. Nice. Okay, so I mean, guys, just uh, uh, another reminder. I think is the first time mentioning it in the video. So if you have used um, the um, really silly uh, mistake there, um, if you have used the timestamps, just repeating myself again. But please, please, please give this a go. I do personally enjoy it. I do personally think it's uh, it's probably one of the best SMGs out there. Um, so I would love to hear your thoughts and see if you guys have enjoyed it too. Uh, so please do let me know in the comment section below and as well as if you guys have other weapons that you think um, that are worth trying i'd love to hear your thoughts see how they look like and of course giving uh, giving them a go um, you know, and uh, and see uh, uh, how well they perform in uh, in the game um, but also another thing that i did wanted to kind of share with you guys i, I really um, uh, want to hear a bit more from you uh, to regards of uh, your thoughts Black Ops 6 game and of course you know your kind of thoughts on what do you think will happen with the franchise do you think will they have uh, a really good success with the game uh, do you think it's just a huge uh, uh, marketing hype um, I'm really curious to know your thoughts but you know again I have left the build on the screen um, and one more thing I wanted to touch on guys as mentioned uh, in a previous video, I do appreciate that some of you want to have like a really short, concise video, so hence why we have the timestamps. But for those who want to watch the entire gameplay, I'm trying to make the videos uh, as concise as possible and as straight to the point as possible, but also for you guys to be able to enjoy watching uh, how all of this has unveiled. So, you know, I do hope um to uh, to reach uh, both worlds by doing so and you know as always guys i look forward to hearing from you and i really really want to uh, uh, have you all more engaged in the comment section below as i said i've learned uh, a few new things recently which is quite nice um, and you know again i can't really thank you guys enough for the support uh, that you have given the channel recently and i guess as a conclusion to this video uh, the run 9 is an absolute beast is an absolute amazing weapon that you guys have to try um, it's just a nice reminder that the weapon used to be a, a, a number one for many of us um, in, in the past few months and it's nice to see the weapon regaining this position again especially after kind of the broken uh, attachments that uh, we have seen on weapons so yeah i do hope you guys have enjoyed today's video i do hope um, um you have found it useful and of course with the weekend ahead i hope this is something that you guys will be able to uh, give it a go um, and you know make the most of your gameplay so that being said thanks so much for watching thanks so much for your support and see you guys in the next video soon